Today I'm going to be working on the Mark II MX-5 and I'm going to be fitting the Show & Go retractable license plate holder. On the Mark IIs and in Ireland, um, you have to display a license plate on the front of your car. Um, unlike some places in America and stuff where they only need a rear one. Uh, I really think it just ruins the complete look at the front of the car. Um, especially the Euro license plate as well, the re rectangular one. Um, and the original plinth that this came on as well used to come out here, here. It did look a little bit better putting it directly onto the body work like that. But I still think it looks terrible. So I picked up the retractable show and go license plate holder. This is it here. This part basically mounts underneath the uh, bonnet here. And then when you want your license plate out, you press the fob, which I have here. It comes with a fob here and you press A, I think it is, to display the license plate. So it comes out and up, it's kind of half retracted here now. It comes up along the front of the car and then you press B when you're at a car show or if you're taking pictures of the car, anything like that, you don't want to see the license plate in your driveway, you press B and it goes down and up underneath the car. So after picking up a new license plate as well, it's kind of a Jap shape, I think. Uh, there was two dimensions, I'm not sure which is Jap and one of them is just called square. So it fits it reasonably well, it's a little bit bigger. I think this is meant for American plates. The show and go retractable license plate holder was very hard to get my hands on. They don't sell it in Europe and the only place you can really get it from is the US, but that's to pay import charges and all that. So I've seen this one come up on eBay at second hand. I've been on it for about two or three days and I did pay about, I think it was like 80 pound, which is over 90 quid, almost retail price for these, but you can't get them here. So I had to pay a little bit extra. So first thing I'm gonna do is wire this up. You're supposed to do it off the battery, but the battery on the MX-5 is in the boot. So I'm gonna have to find something else, something neat to uh, get power off. I'm not too good at wiring or anything like that. So uh, uh, let's just hope it goes okay. So I have the positive cable here run up through the bumper, I have the license plate sitting on the ground and then I have a uh, ground here as well. So I'm going to ground this on the bodywork somewhere and then the positive I'm going to tap into this red wire here which I'm sure is constant power and um, I'm not too good at wiring but there's a tear in this probably from the rats that ate all the silicone hoses so I'm going to tap into that. Uh, I want constant power as I want to be able to turn it, bring it in and out when the ignition isn't on. So I'm going to tap into that and see if I get some power. I have that power in there and I have it grounded right there. So I'm quickly going to show you how it works. I basically have a power to a constant power so whether the car is on or off, it's off right now. And um, this will basically work and I'm able to retract it and put it back out. So holding it here. If I press the, I think you need to hold it down, so the B button will retract it like that, that will stay still, that will come down, and to go back out, the license plate will come back out and shoot back up. So what I'm going to do is pop off the old crappy license plate. I have the license plate uh, now attached to the license plate holder, so I think I'm going to kind of do it slightly to the uh, left hand side of the car. I can't go over it anymore just because of the actual mounting bar underneath. So that's what it's going to look like at the side, and then when it is retracted, tilt plate. That's basically all you'll see. You'll see the kind of little lip part at the front when it's retracted. So I'm going to go ahead now and drill through the three holes to hold this plate in place, which will retract and put out the license plate. The retractable license plate is now completely fitted. It was very handy to fit. It was basically just three bolts to the front and one at the back. And then the wiring as well was easy enough as well. And as you can see, the light, oh, actually almost pressed it there. Go back in. The bumper on my car is in bits, so I'm gonna have to fix that later tonight when I'm prepping the whole car for plasti dipping that I'm gonna be doing tomorrow morning because I have the DB Daily's car meet uh, the day after that, so. A lot of work at the moment but that is completely fitted so i think it is yeah b brings it in as it's in there completely you can hardly see it you can only see the you can see it there little lip kind of sticking out then when i press the a all the way out and then comes up straight and that is nice and flat i have it slightly to the uh to the edge um if i had it in the middle there was going to be an even bigger gap because the way the bumper goes, the way it goes in like that, I need it at a slight angle. But uh, it doesn't bother me too much what it looks like when it's up, because it's when it's down is what the reason I wanted this, because the car looks so much better. 
with the license plate down, nothing on the front. Um, it would be better to not have to have anything on this, but you have to have a license plate. So this is on it. Now, like legality and all with these, I don't really know what the story is. When I bought this, there was nothing really in any newspapers in Ireland about these. I know in the UK there's a few tabloids and all pick up and start talking about them, saying that they're legal and that people are using them to avoid tolls and stuff like that. And then last week, I seen, um, I think the, the Irish Independent and a few picked up where an Irish guard station had put up a post on Facebook talking about how people were using these plates and how they actually caught someone with them and then all the papers were picking up on it saying that people are using James Bond like devices to spin their plate upside down um, while doing donut maneuvers um, so so I don't know like if I, I won't be driving the car with this down so you can't really tell much of a difference when it's up um, and even if someone the guard did pull me over and see it, I doubt they'll care um, since it is displayed. This is purely for show purposes and taking pictures of the car basically. I'm not going to be using it for avoiding tolls or speed vans or anything like that. Um, the ones that people do usually use for them are basically like a curtain that comes in over the front and they're horrible because the, the uh, actual license plate holder has to come out fairly far for the license plate to be able to fit in the curtain to be able to come up and down. Um, so hopefully I don't get in trouble for having this, but I don't think people can really tell. I do have the two screws going through at the top as well, so it's only if you get up kind of close, you can see it does come out a little bit further on the left hand side, but it is secure and everything, so I'm happy with it and the car looks a little bit better now. In the next video I'm going to be prepping the MX-5 for the plastic dipping, which I'm doing tomorrow. So hopefully I can get all that prep done tonight. I just have to fix up that front bumper, a few dints around the side, just a bit of bondo work, and give the car a good wash as the car needs to dry overnight before the passy dip can go on. So that's it for this video. I hope you like the retractable license plate as much as I do. Um, if anyone's looking for one, I don't know where you can get one because they are extremely hard to get here. Um, so you might have to make up one yourself. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.